Okay, so... I live in the woods, and my closest neighbor is about a mile away from us, and, well, a lot of creepy things happen around here. Now, when I was little, I had this obsession with being outside, especially near the fence for some reason. It just fascinated me. But that day was a cool summer day, and as usual, I was outside near the fence, digging holes for worms and building a castle with the grass and dirt. During this, my mother was inside on the phone with some family. While I was playing, I heard a noise over the fence and the little kid I was got curious, so I stood as tall as I could to see over the fence. What I saw frightened my wits out of me. There, standing hunched over, was a tall, slim, dark figure with this big Cheshire grin with rows of teeth. As I saw it, I guess it saw me too, because it started to walk up towards me and I fell over onto the ground, frozen in place. It started to try and grab me with what looked like long, black fingers. I screamed bloody murder before it could get any closer. My mother had heard me scream and came outside to see what happened, but as soon as she did, it ran off back into the woods, faster than anything I'd ever seen still to this day. Now, I still don't know if this was my imagination or something else. But what I do know is my obsession with the fence stopped right after that, and I never went there alone again. Hey everyone, it's me, Ghost Cube, and I hope you've all had a wonderful new year. Before I talk about some general updates, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to the author of this story, Chloe Laver. She has been so kind as to send me this story based on her own personal experience, so please go subscribe to her and show her channel some love and support. If you have a story of your own you'd like me to make a video on, please let me know in the comments. Also, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I haven't updated in a while, I've been really caught up in schoolwork and stuff, but I really want to get back to posting more videos soon, and maybe also streaming while I work on art projects if that's something that interests you. And I know this is long overdue, but thank you all so so much for helping me hit over 500 subs, that is insane and everyone has been so polite and kind in the comment section. You guys are seriously the reason why I keep this channel running. I'd really like to do something to celebrate getting 500 subs. I was thinking about doing a Q&A, so if there's anything you'd like to ask me, please let me know in the comments down below, and if I get enough questions, I'll answer them all in another video. That's all for now. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Uh, hopefully I can get more creepy dresses up soon, and as always, Sweet dreams.